Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Say hi Elena. Hi. <laughs> um, I know it's been a while since I've made a video but I am ready to get back into it. So I just wanted to come on here and kind of update you guys on what's been going on in our life and um, kind of kick it off that way. So we have had a lot happen in the past two years. Well thank you dear. Um, that's about how long I haven't made a video for. So, um, to start it all off, whenever COVID happened, my husband did lose his job. And, um, so during the time that meant that I had to get a full-time job because I was working part-time and then he had to find a different job, which he did. Thank you, dear. And it's been, it's been great. He's still at the same place. Um, and I am also, I'm, I've loved my job. It's been really, really amazing. Um, but because of all of that, I wasn't able to do things like make videos anymore um, just because my time was all being put in that area. Um, and I'm still still at that job. I actually recently um, got a promotion and so I've been taking on more responsibility, uh, which means I've been even more busy, but I have just been missing this and just been really wanting to get back into it. So uh, I'm just starting. I'm just going to do it. What are you doing? And you guys can come along with me for the ride. So um, anyway, also a big thing that happened was in February of this year, we listed our house for sale and it sold the same day <laughs> that we listed it. Um, we weren't really sure if it was the right time and um, we weren't sure where we were gonna end up, if we wanted to build a house or buy a different house or how long uh, we would be without a house, but we just listed it in faith. Sure enough, it sold the same day that we listed it um, and we got over asking price which was really, really good for us financially. Um, we were able to pay off almost all of our debt and that put us in a really good spot, um, which is why we were able to buy a new house that I'm in right now. And I will show you guys the new house eventually. Um, it's not done yet, it's still a work in progress. We looked into building and it just wasn't really working out the way that we um, had hoped and so uh, that's when we started looking for a house and found this gem that was listed for sale 30 minutes before we saw it. And the first time that we saw it, we put an offer in and they accepted um, the very next day. So it all worked out and we're here now, which is amazing. During that time though, it was about three months that we didn't have a house. We were living with my in-laws so that was fun um no they really are great it was it was really wonderful and we were able to continue to save money while we were living there um so that was really good but we're happy to be where we're at now another thing that has happened is a lot of you might have seen my post on facebook about elena um that she had to have an mri done <clears throat> and that's actually been an ongoing thing when she was a baby she slept really really good and she slept on her back and she also has a big head a bigger head than like normal i guess um so all of those combined caused her to the back of her head to be pretty flat um and so she had to wear a cranial band to correct that and we did get it corrected but um, later on as we have had doctors visits and everything her um, primary care doctor has just been kind of concerned about the size of her head and making sure that she has good um, flow of her spinal fluid from her brain to the rest of her body and so um, she does receive chiropractic care which is amazing that's where I work is at a chiropractic office um, so that's been really good for her but um, her PCP wanted to do some more testing so she had an MRI done and it has been weeks and we still haven't got the results um, they said it could take up to 30 days to get the results so we're still waiting on those but we will keep you guys updated and we do think that she's fine like we 
we think everything's fine, but we just did it as a precaution just to make sure that our baby girl is healthy. So that's going on. And then another thing is um, Josh and I, I haven't really talked about this to anyone <laughs> except for um, some of my family and a few friends as well. Um, but I've been kind of waiting for the right time to make it public, I guess. And I just haven't really known how to do that. So I'm going to do it today. My husband and I have trained, have been trying to get pregnant for um, the past year. And um, I've actually been uh, diagnosed as infertile and I've been taking medication um, for, I took medication for eight months. I'm off of it now, I'm no longer taking it. But um, I've been told that I, I won't be able to have kids unless I um, see a specialist and go kind of that route. But I've just been holding off on that. And the reason for that is because I, the more Josh and I have thought about it and prayed about it, talked about it, we have just kind of realized that like, maybe it hasn't been the right time. Like maybe it's not God's timing for us to have a baby right now. Um, obviously, as I just told you, we've been going through a lot, a lot of transitions, like even he had a lot of transitions at work. I've had transitions at work. Um, we've moved houses. We've lived with our in-laws. We've had medical things like a lot of stress and things have been going on. If I were pregnant during that time, then honestly, it would have been kind of inconvenient for me um, just for how fast paced my life is, I feel like, and it would have made me really tired. We have just really accepted that like it's it's just not our time yet and we're at peace with it and we're just being patient with it. We're gonna let God do his thing I'm not taking medication. I'm not going to see a specialist. They've done tests on me. I've had an MRI. Um, they thought it was a tumor at one point, ruled everything out. And really what it just comes down to is my hormones aren't balanced. And um, so I, I just don't feel like I need to like put chemicals in my body you know, whenever really it's probably just all the stress that I've endured or or maybe it's just not God's timing, you know? And so, um, like I said, we're at peace with it. We're going to wait it out. We're going to see what happens. We're going to continue to pray about it. And we would love for you guys to pray for us as well. Um, but yeah, those are really the biggest things that have happened in our life. Um, I'm really excited to be making videos again, and I hope you guys are excited to see me as well. And I'll keep you guys posted on all my videos. If you go ahead and subscribe, you'll be able to get notifications on those videos. Um, but yeah, Elena, you wanna say bye? Bye bye. We'll get in the video. Say bye. Bye bye. Say, see you later. See you later. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Make sure you poop in your pups. Okay. <laughs>